Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? I'm great. How about you? Good. Very good today. Excellent. That's the attitude. It's Friday. Yeah. Any plans for the weekend? Um, work. Work. <laughs> Only that? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. Both? Then Even Sunday? Monday to Friday working in the city hall and Saturday and Sunday working in my home because oh. uh, yeah, I have a, a clean, I need to clean my home and clean outside my home. Uh, clean my plants, wash my plants. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, so yeah, you will be very busy. <laughs> okay, all right. Let's see. Hello, Douglas. How are you? Okay. <laughs> Hello, how are you? I'm fine. Excellent. Welcome to the class. Thank you. Very good, very good. Who else? Who else? Um, Yesenia, hello, Yesenia, how are you? Hmm. All right, well, we are going to wait for them. Welcome, everybody. I'm really happy to see you today. Basically, we are finishing the week number three. Okay, so imagine everybody, ya. Yeah? Terminando, vamos, la, la, la semana tres, ok. So, imagen, nos quedan solamente, solamente una semana. Exactly, one week. So, five days. Así que ya lo más difícil, everybody, ya lo hicieron, ok. Así que... Um, Ya nos quedan solamente cinco días, básicamente, y se termina el primer nivel, everyone. Así que no se rindan, please. Vamos siempre con todo. Lo más difícil, digamos que ya lo hicieron. All right. Sí, sí, yeah. sure. Go ahead. O sea, terminamos el primer nivel, de ahí sigue la otra semana del siguiente nivel. O um, va a haber vacaciones, no sé. <ríe> Honestly, no sé exactamente qué día iniciaría el siguiente nivel, porque imagino que va a depender de cómo salga el grupo, right? Hay que ver si van a, cuántos van a pasar, cuántos van a seguir. Entonces, va a depender de eso. Honestamente, no creo que inicien tipo al siguiente día, right? No creo, pero vamos a esperar porque todavía no me han confirmado qué día estaría iniciando ya el segundo nivel. All right. Okay. Y como ustedes no quieren vacaciones, right? ¿O sí? ¿Quieren vacations? <risa> yes. Ah, come on. Si les damos vacaciones, se les va a olvidar lo que ya se aprendieron. O a menos que prometan que van a estar repasando, estudiando, please, ok. Pero les vamos a confirmar, ok. Don't worry for that. So, ya solo queda la última semana. Everybody, remember, viernes de la próxima semana es el último día, ok. Así que recordarles siempre, uh, la próxima semana vamos a tener el examen final. Así que tratemos también de avanzar en la plataforma. Por ahí ya tengo cómo van en la unidad número eh, tres. Algunos ya la terminaron. Excellent job. Algunos van como por el 80%. por ciento. Pues sí, pero yo no sé cómo voy. No sé, me gustaría saber. Ok, perfect. Les voy a mostrar ahorita cómo van. Look at this. Ahorita nos vamos a enfocar en la tercera columna. This one, week three. Ok, ahí vean su nombre y vean cómo van. So, remember, si de repente hicieron un ejercicio, pero se equivocaron, eso también puede afectar su nota. Y sí, ahí right. quedamos mal. <ríe> ah, come on. No tanto, realmente algunos van bastante avanzados. Hay unos que sí, 
no han trabajado mucho, right? Así que please everybody, pilas, si van atrasados, remember, tienen que avanzar lo más que puedan. Requisito para poder seguir al siguiente nivel, basically is the platform. Si no me trabajan on the platform, mm -mm, sorry, but you cannot pass to the next level. Así que keep in mind that, remember, basically ya solo la próxima semana. Así que lo más difícil ya lo hicieron. Ánimo, sigamos a la siguiente semana. Siempre pilas con todo y no se me desanime. All right. Now, let's see. Do you remember the topics that we studied this week? Uh -huh. Do you remember the topics that we studied this week? The use of the time and the on, in, at. Very good. Telling the time. We studied the prepositions at, in, and on. Very good. So today we are going to have a lot of practice. Ok, la idea es practicar todo lo que hemos estado viendo durante esta semana para ver qué tanto han sido asimilados los topics. All right, so let's start. I'm going to share the presentation. Recordarles, everybody, <coughs> también la importancia de la asistencia. All right, los felicito por estar aquí puntuales. Um, si se fijan, hay varios de sus classmates que todavía no se han conectado. Esperemos que se conecten pronto. Pero no descuidemos, please, la attendance. Tratemos de conectarnos, por ejemplo, ya solo faltan cinco días. No faltemos ninguno de esos días, please. Y tratemos de estar las dos horas. Ok, that's very, very important. Ok, can everybody see the presentation? Yes. Yes. Ok, very good. So today is December 9th. Estamos terminando la unit number three. So today is vocabulary practice. The objective is participants will be able to practice vocabulary. Basically, we are going to practice everything. Ok, todo lo que vimos esta semana lo vamos a estar practicando. Así que please everyone, if you have questions, just let me know. Ok, si hay algo que no entendieron, eh, eh, hoy es el momento, right, para que ustedes me digan y yo con gusto les puedo volver a explicar. All right, so, um, let's start, vamos a ver si se acuerdan de este topic. Daily routine. Do you remember this topic? Yeah. Yes. Yes? So, so. so, so. Ok, let's practice. Ah, oh, no, Rem no estuve yo hoy día. Good evening, teacher. Good morning, uh, good night, good evening, sorry. Welcome, Selvis. Ok, let's sí. practice a little bit the daily routine. So, remember, palabra nueva, palabra que no se sepan, write it down. Ok, look at the picture and look at the options. So it's go to bed, get dressed, have a drink, or wake up. What is that? Uh, wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Okay. So wake up. That's correct. Teacher. Uh -huh. Yo no tuve ese día y no anoté nada. ¿Qué significa? Okay, wake up, everybody. What is the meaning of wake up? Despertarse. Despertarse. Despertarse, exactly. So wake up es como lo primero que hacemos en la mañana. When you open your eyes, okay? Wake up. Luego de wake up, ¿qué hacemos después de wake up? Get up. Get up. Get up. Entonces, ¿cuál es la diferencia entre wake up y get up? Levantarse. Exactly. Very good. So, si yo les pregunto, what time do you wake up? What would be the answer? I wake up at uh, seven o'clock. Perfect. <laughs> Very good. Exactly. Now, let's continue. 
What is this one? Have a shower. Aquí tienen options. Pueden decir have a shower or take hey. a shower. Okay? Do you take a shower every day? Yes. 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 Yes, I do. Yeah. That's yes. the one. Ah. Yes, I do. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Okay, look at the next picture. Brush. Brush teeth. Brush teeth. Correct. Do you brush teeth every day? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Great job. Great job. When you take a shower, what do you need to do? Get dressed. Get dressed. So what is what is the meaning of get dressed? Uh -huh. What is yeah. the meaning? Yeah. Exactly. Mm. That's correct. Very good. Uh-huh. What is this? Have, have oh, breakfast. Correct. Here is the same. You can say have breakfast or take breakfast. Pero si ustedes me dicen solo, ah, I breakfast, mm -mm, that is not correct. Tenemos que colocarle el verbo, ya sea have or take. Very good. So, imagine si yo les pregunto, everybody, what time do you have breakfast? <coughs> I had breakfast, breakfast. At, 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 at eight o'clock. All right, at eight o'clock. Or I have, a, I have a breakfast at five minutes to tonight. Five tonight? Okay, sounds good. ¿Qué pasa si yo quiero decir yo, yo desayuno? Alrededor de las ocho y media. How can I say that? I have, I have bread, bread breakfast bread. at home. Yeah. At around. Ah. Around. So, at I have breakfast. Seven. Correct. Uh -huh. Don't forget the phrase. Podemos decir around. Okay. Around health past eight. Very good. En lugar de around, ¿qué otra frase puedo decir? What is the other one? A corner. Sorry? About. About. Very good. Okay. What is this? Go to work. Ah. Go to work. Go to work. Very good. So, ¿qué tal si en lugar de trabajar yo voy a estudiar? ¿Cómo diría eso? ¿Qué significa? Go to school. Exactly. So, go to work es ir a trabajar. Digamos que no vamos a trabajar, no que vamos a estudiar, podemos decir go to school or go to study. Ok. Very good. Ajá. Uh -huh. What is this? Have a drink. Have a drink. Very good. Have a drink. Eso es como decir beber algo. Aquí si ustedes quieren ser a little bit more specific, you can say eh, drink a coffee, right? Coffee, drink juice. soda, juice, water. Okay. Now, what is this? Coffee with milk. What exactly? <laughs> Okay, watch TV. That's correct. So everybody, what time do you usually watch TV? I watch, I watch TV, TV around watch TV six. Okay, hold on, hold on. First, Harbin. Harbin, what time do you usually watch TV? I watch TV around seven or eight. 
p.m. or a.m.? Yes. p.m. All right. Elizabeth and you? I watched TV at about um, about um, half past six p.m. Okay. okay, very good. Okay, the last one. What is this? Go to bed. All right. And what is the meaning of go to bed? Ir a la cama. Exactly. When you go Ir to sleep. Very good. So, what time do you usually go to bed? I go to bed. Uh-huh. At... At 20 past 10. Very good. That's the one. So everybody, that is the daily routine. That's the most common vocabulary. So try to review the vocabulary. All right. Traten de hacer como una lista de qué hacen ustedes todos los días. Y si hay una frase que no saben cómo decirla, Dictionary. For example, los hombres se afeitan, right? ¿Cómo digo eso in English? Do you remember? I shave. I shave. Las mujeres, maquillaje, right? How can I say that? I make, 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 I put on oh my, my makeup. Very good. So, hay pequeñas frasecitas que podemos irlas buscando para aprenderlas. Very good. Okay, another thing that we studied during this week is the information questions. Do you remember this topic? Yes. yes. Okay, yes. let's see if it is true. Okay, double H words. What is the meaning of who? The time. The time, the, the, sure? people. People. Oh, the people, the people. Ah, this is for people. For example, who is your teacher? Who is your boss? Okay. What is the meaning of what? Um, the thing and action. Actions. Thing action. Exactly. Things or actions? Can you give me an example of question using what? What do you do in the morning? Great job, exactly. Now, what is the meaning of when? Is on time. Correct. When we are talking about time. For example, when is your birthday? When do you go to work? Okay. What is the meaning of where? The place. 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 For example? Where do you live? Where do where you are live? You where are you from? Very good. What is the meaning of why? Explain. Explain. Exactly. We want to explain. We want to give a reason. So... Cuando yo les hago una question con why, ¿cómo respondemos? Because. Very because. good. Because. And the last one, how. How oh, is um, Como. Pro procedures. Procedures. Exactly. Procedures or process. This is when we want to know how we can do something. For example, how do you cook a chicken soup? How do you cook a pupusas? All right. Vamos a hacer una pequeña practice about the double H words. But first, I'm going to check attendance. So if you listen to your names, say present. So Ana Carmina. 
Present teacher. Okay, very good. Douglas? Present teacher. Guillermo? Present. All right. Harvin Vladimir? Present. Okay. Jesus Ernesto? Okay. Eh, Jesus Joannis? Present. Jose Alberto? Okay. Rigoberto Padilla? Okay. Rogelio Enrique? Selby Sosmin? Present teacher. Okay. Selby uh, logró um, solucionar el inconveniente que siempre se le presenta con, con la connection. No, es como esa base de Wi-Fi y cuando se va quizás donde tienen el control ellos, me quedo ah. sin, sin Wi-Fi y por eso creo que es porque se corta. Okay. Porque igual el martes... Sí, creo que miércoles, ya van dos días, miércoles, creo que ya va así, right? Uh -huh. Miércoles estuve conectado casi hora y media y me reportaron que no me había conectado en ningún minuto. ¿Qué día? ¿Miércoles? Miércoles. Miércoles, miércoles. o martes, según me recuerdo. Creo que estuve right. conectado como una hora, 20 minutos por ahí así. Ok. Quizás no lo guardó el, eh, la, la, um, la aplicación de Zoom. Sí, porque why. el día de ayer me mandaron de que no me había conectado ningún minuto y martes sí aparecí con ocho minutos conectado y fue que se me desconectó. Ajá. Miércoles el... estuve conectado una hora, una hora con veinte y algo de minutos, pero no me apareció ningún minuto conectado. Sí, es cierto. Uh -huh. Bueno, esperemos que ese inconveniente ya no se le presente. Igual voy a dejar el comentario para evitar cualquier malentendido por ahí. Okay. okay. Very good. Okay, Sonia Elizabeth. Present teacher. All right, Sonia Veronica. Present teacher. Very good. Eh, Wilson. Wilson is not here. Okay. Um, Xiomara, Elizabeth. No. Oh my goodness. Eh, Lily. Okay, very good. Everybody remember the attendance. Si se fijan, varios de sus classmates, they are not here. Ah, no, algunos se han reportado en el grupo, right? Espero que pues mejore la connection. Pero sí, los que estamos, remember, tratemos siempre de tener cuidado con la attendance. Now, let's practice a little bit the double H words just to see if you remember. I'm going to show you some sentences and you have to decide what is the correct double H word. For example, look at the number one. Ta, 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 ta. He is he. And look at the answer. Ah, he is at the cinema. So can I say who or what oh. or where or when or why? Uh -huh. He is at the cinema. Hmm. Where? Guillermo, can you repeat? When? Where? Where? Yes. Where is he? Ah, he is at the cinema. Look at the next one. Ta 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 ta. Is he sad? Ah, because he is ill. Why? 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 why exactly remember cuando preguntamos con why we answer using because okay let's move on i'm going to be asking one by one let's start with elizabeth elizabeth yeah. next question uh, who is she she is my sister oh uh, the ones that oh, is... no excuse me <laughs> yeah <laughs> Uh, what is that? It's it a present. Very good. <laughs> nice. Next, Sonia Veronica. Is the exam? When? Next week. Okay. When is the exam? 
next week. Very good, very good. Okay, Anna, you're the next one. Yes, it is. Who is she? Who is she? Very good. She is my sister. Very good. Okay, let's see Douglas, the next one. Um, what is that? Oh, is it this one? Is he happy? Ah, happy, okay. Is he happy? Um, is he happy? One moment. Okay. Look at the answer. Because he has a new car. Why? Ah, very good. Why is he happy? I because he has. A new car. Very good. Very good. Okay, let's see who's next. Um, Guillermo, what is the next one? What is that? It's a mouse. Correct. Nice no, job. Next, Harbin. When? When? When did he arrive? Yesterday. yesterday that's correct very good okay let's see joanny's next one when when are they they are mm. at home are you sure yes mm, when when is for time? Okay. Am I talking about what? time or the place? What? What, what are they? Mm, they are at home. Hmm. Ellos están en casa. ¿Tendría sentido si utilizo what? No. The places. Ah, we are talking about a place. ¿De qué lugar estoy hablando? Ah, home. So, Joannis, what is the uh, double H word for places? Mm, where? Exactly. That's the correct one. Where are they? ¿Dónde están ellos? Ah, they are at home. Very good. Okay, let's see the next one. Um, Selvis is crying. What is crying? My brother and my dad. Okay. So, ¿qué estoy preguntando ahí? ¿Qué están llorando? Uh, mm. My brother ¿qué and my dad. Mi brother? Ah, my so I'm talking about people. What is the double H word for people? Whoa, whoa. Who, that's whoa. correct. So who is crying? Ah, my brother and my dad. Very good. Okay, next, let's see. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Okay, Jesus, Ernesto, what is the next one? Yeah. Is the cat? Where is the cat? Correct. Where is the cat? Ah, it's on the keyboard. Very good. Okay, who's next? Who's next? Um, Lily, the next one, please. Did you buy a lot of Things. ¿Qué significa a lot of things? Muchas, Muchas cosas. cosas. Muchas cosas. So, podríamos decir, ¿quién compraste? ¿Dónde compraste? ¿Cuándo compraste? ¿Qué compraste? ¿Cómo compraste? What is the correct double H word? 
So, Lily, what do you think? What? What? Correct. What did you buy? ¿Qué compraste? Ah, a lot of things. Very good job. Okay, everybody, what is the next one? Is your mm -hmm. birthday? How? Uh -huh. When? When? When is your birthday? Ah, tomorrow. What is the meaning of tomorrow? Mañana. Mañana. Correct. Okay, next one. Makes dinner. Ah, my granny. What is the meaning of granny? Oh, my dinner. Who makes make who? dinner? Uh -huh. makes dinner. Ah, who? Who makes dinner? My granny. What is the meaning of granny? Como abuela, quizá. Exactly. Abuela. This is like abuela, pero de una forma más cariñosa. Right? Es como cuando decimos mamá, podemos decir mother or mommy, que es como un poquito más de cariño. Right? Okay, look at the next one. Are you running? I because it's too late. Why? Why? Very good. Why? And the last one is Jack. He's in the is... bed. Uh huh. Who is Jack? Who is Jack? Who? Where? Ah, he's in the bed. Ah, where? Donde está Jack? Yeah. <laughs> Él está en la bed. Come. Exactly. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> no, come on. So far, so good. Yo sé que en algunas de esas preguntas el vocabulary nos hace un poquito más difícil saber cuál es la respuesta correcta. But if you see, lo más importante is that you memorize the meaning of each double H word. We need to memorize that who is for people, what is for things or actions, and so on and so on. Memorize this and it will be easy. Be careful with this. When and where. Porque con esa siento que se me están confundiendo un poquito. Remember, son bien parecidas. Pero when is for time and where is for places. I have a question, Tisha. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Una, una pregunta. Go ahead. Con, con, con la lámina anterior, si podemos regresar, por favor. Ok, give me a moment. Uh -huh. eh, el, el verbo pasado, did. Yes. Ajá, ok. Ahí tengo dudas si todas las WH se pueden combinar con did o solo algunas, porque where did, si sé que se puede, ahí vi que se puede también con did. Uh -huh. No sé qué otra de ellas podemos combinar con el verbo pasado. Ok, good question. Thank you, Guillermo. Look at this. Esto todavía no lo vamos a ver, no en este nivel, right? Si se fijan en este nivel, solo hemos estado viendo el simple present. Más adelante nos vamos a ver en el pasado. So, cuando veamos el pasado, vamos a ver este did. Y la función del did es igual a la función del do. Es lo mismo, basically. So, si todas las double H questions las podemos combinar con el do, significa que también las podemos combinar con el did. Porque el did y el do, basically, they are the same. Son como que lo mismo. All right? Así que sí, podemos combinar todas las double H words con el did. Thank you. You're welcome. But... No worries. Eso lo vamos a ver después. Any other questions, everybody, about the double H words? Okay. If you don't have questions, otra cosa que tenemos que recordar is, cuando hacemos una double H question, a veces usamos do and sometimes does. What is the difference between do and does? What is the difference? When it is the subject. Uh -huh. It depends on the subject. Okay. Does is for? Third person. Third person. Can you tell me the third person? She, he. 
Perfect, mm -hmm. exactly. If I am talking in singular, can I use do or does? Singular. Do? Are you sure? Does. does. For example, singular, does. ah, you. okay. Look at this example. No, no, no. If no. I talk Mia. about Wait. student, be careful with the microphones. Student is in singular or plural? Singular. singular. It's in singular. Okay. Singular. If I say students, is in singular plural. or plural? Plural. plural? plural. In this case, is plural. Okay. My question is student in singular, can I use the auxiliary do or the auxiliary does? Does. 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 If I have plural, can I use do or does? Do. 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 Exactly. That is something that you have to memorize. Okay? If you have plural, you use do. If you have singular, you have to use does. Clear, everybody? Understood? Se entiende? Yes. Yes. Okay, so let's do a practice. I have here different questions. You have to create the question and you have to decide. Do you use do or does? Okay, let's do the practice. Look at this. For example, look at the first sentence. Um, let's see. I'm going to do it bigger. Okay, look at the next one. How you go to school. ¿Cómo quedaría la question? How, how do you how, go? How, how do you go to school? Do you go to school? Ok, ¿por qué utilizo do y no does? Singular. Singular. In this case, if you see, ¿cuál es el subject? You. You. ¿Utilizo does con you? No. no, right? Very good. Okay, number two, where he work? What would be the question? Where, where does ah, he work? Where, where does, does he, he work? work? So look at the subject is third person. That's why we say does. Okay, number three, volunteer. What is the question? When class end? When do you class? When do you class? Mm. When do you do class? Okay, pay attention here. Who is, or, or what is the subject? ¿Quién es el sujeto en esta oración? Uh -huh. class. La, the class. subject is class. Class is in singular or plural? Singular. 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 So do I need do or does? Does. Okay. So yes. when, when does, does class yeah. and, and that's correct. For example, imagine if I ask you, everybody, when does class and what will be the answer? On Friday. The class and. <laughs> uh -huh. The class ends on Friday. Okay, very good. Number four, what your father do? What, what does your father do? All right. What does your father do? Again, pay attention here. Usamos does because it's third person. Okay. Who you see in the photo? What will be the question here? Who do? Uh huh. Who do? Who is the subject? You, you see, you see, you see in, the, in the photo. In the photo. All right. So, 
Pay attention in the structure. Double H word, auxiliary, subject, verb, complement. Very good. Okay, number six. How many and then cousins you have? How many? Ok, pay attention here. Este tipo de preguntas aún no las hemos visto. Pero si se fijan la palabra how many, van a ir juntas. Estas se las voy a resolver yo. Repito, este tipo de preguntas lo vamos a ver más adelante. So, vamos a decir how many cousins. Y aquí vamos a agregar el auxiliary. ¿Quién es el sujeto? You. You. So, can I say does or do? Do. 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 How many cousins you do, do you have? have? What is the meaning of cousins? Do you know? No. Primos. Ok. Primos o um, primas. So, ¿qué estoy preguntando aquí? How many cousins do you have? Es, uh, ¿Cuántos primos? ¿Cuántos tiene? primos tienes? Exactly. What would be the answer? How many cousins do you have? <laughs> uh -huh. Any idea? I don't know how many cousins I have. <laughs> I have uh, three cousins. Only three? Example, teacher. <laughs> It's just an example. I know, tenemos muchos, right? Many cousins. Very how good. Many, how much? How many? How many? How many? Yes. Okay, number seven. Why you get up early on Sundays? What is the question here? What, why? Why do? What do you do? What do you uh, some day, some why do you do you uh -huh. get up, get up, get up, get up on, on, Sunday. On, Sunday. on Sundays? Very good job. ¿Cómo responderíamos a una question con why? Because. Because. Exactly. Very good, very good. Okay, next one. Ok, esta lo vamos a saltar. Yo sé que aún no hemos visto la palabra which, pero which. es bien fácil. Which es cuando nosotros tenemos opciones y queremos elegir dentro de esas opciones. For example, imagine que tenemos pizza and tacos. Esas son sus opciones. Entonces yo les quiero decir cuál de ellas prefieres. En este caso, vamos a usar okay. which. 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 which es muy parecido a what. La única diferencia es que which es cuando tenemos options, es decir, que podemos elegir. In this case, for example, which kind of food? Estamos hablando de un tipo de comida. So, tenemos que elegir dentro de algo. So, ¿cómo quedaría esta pregunta? Decimos, which, which, kind, no, of, uh -huh. which kind of food of, do, do you, you prefer, prefer? ¿Qué estoy preguntando ahí? Which kind of food do you prefer? ¿Qué clase de comida prefieres? Ah, ¿Qué clase de comida prefieres? What would be the answer? Hey, everybody. I prefer pizza. Okay, and you everybody, which kind of food do you prefer? Uh -huh. Which kind of food do you prefer? Mexican food. Pupusas. A pupusas, yeah. I like, I like I like Mexican, food. Mexican food, burrito, oh yeah, burritos, tacos. <laughs> una pregunta y ese what kind se puede utilizar eh, con, perdón el, se puede utilizar con el what ese kind of yes for example yo también les puedo preguntar what kind of music do you like por eso les digo el which y el what es como que si fueran primos right son muy parecidos entonces de hecho podemos usarlos muy similarmente look 
Which kind of food do you prefer? What kind of food do you prefer? It's basically the same. La única diferencia es que el which normalmente lo usamos cuando mencionamos las opciones. For example, yo les podría decir, um, what, which kind of food do you prefer? Pizza or tacos? So, les estoy dando las opciones. Normalmente cuando usamos which, mencionamos las opciones. Con what, la pregunta es en general, no mencionamos las opciones. ¿Se entiende la diferencia? For example, um, yo les podría decir, everybody, what color do you prefer? ¿Les estoy dando opciones, sí o no? No. No. Entonces usamos what, pero si yo les, pero si yo les digo, hey, which, um, yeah, which color do you prefer, um, black or white? ¿Les estoy dando opciones? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, yes aquí está, black or white, y ustedes eligen. So that is the difference, ¿ok? Which, normalmente mencionamos las opciones. Más adelante vamos a ver estos, este tipo de double H words. So, no worries, pero es para que vean. Which and what son muy similares. Got it? Understood? Yes? ¿Preguntas con which? No? No. Okay, let's move on to the number one. What sport she play? What would be the question? What does? What? Dos. Mm, pero ¿a dónde coloco la palabra sport? Look, they are together. What? What? What, ah, sport? what the sport do or does? Does. 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 She play. She play. Yeah. Very good. And the last one. Where this train go? Uh -huh. where, where do go this train? Okay, si hablo de train. Das. Das or do? Third person. Ah, where does this train go? ¿Qué estoy preguntando ahí? Uh -huh. Where does this train go? ¿Qué estoy preguntando? What is the meaning of where? ¿A dónde va ese tren? Algo así. Very good, exactly. ¿A dónde va este tren? Very good. Now, the most important thing here, everybody, is identify the third person. Si es terceras personas, we need to use does. Right. Si no es terceras personas, usamos do. Si es en singular, como en el caso de class, decimos does. Si es plural, decimos do. ¿Se entiende, everybody, the difference between do and does? Como lo que Yes, como la horchata. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, let's continue. Please, if there is something that you don't understand, tell me, I can explain again. Now, let's see. We studied this week questions with what time? Do you remember? Yes, ¿se acuerdan yes. cómo usar el what time? Mm, no no. <laughs> Algunos es así como que cuando vimos eso, right? <laughs> ok, vamos a hacer como que si este fuera un exam, ok? No es un exam, solo pretendamos que es un exam. Les voy a dar una hora a cada uno y ustedes me dicen what time is it, ok? Pero please, solo al que le vaya preguntando, no le soplen al classmate, ok? Here we go. Can you see the clock? 
Yes? No. No? Okay, let me share it again. How about now? Can you see the clock? Yes. 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 Excellent. Okay, let's start. Um, I'm going to ask to Anna. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Anna, what time Good is it? Good evening, teacher. Okay. Good evening. Uh -huh. um, what time is it? It's, it's, um, it's um, 42 8. 42 8. Are you sure? Uh -huh. Uh, wait, uh, wait, oh no, 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 <laughs> it's, uh, see, no, 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 it is 20, 22, 8, 20 to 8, are you sure, is that your final answer, yes. respuesta definitiva, <laughs> uh -huh. answer, yes, <laughs> Okay, mm. look, Anna. Ah. What? What? Okay. Quarter to eight. Mm. Okay. Okay, thank you, Anna. Okay, next, Guillermo. Okay, Guillermo, what time is it? It's um uh -huh. Uh -huh. it's um okay. go Guillermo go <laughs> uh pass for Okay, okay. 20 past, 20 past four. 20 past four. Very good. That's the <laughs> correct one. It's 20 past four. Okay. Harbin, it's your turn. Okay, Harbin, what time is it? It's cold. Six. Can you repeat? Mm, a whole past six. Half past uh, half. six. Yes. Half past six. Uh. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, let's see who's next. Um, Joannis. Okay, Joannis. Da, 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 da. What time is it? Is five five to to ten? No, five no, no. to ten? No, no, no. It's five past ten. Five past ten. <laughs> That's the one. Be careful with the prepositions. Okay, so far so good. Let's continue with Jesus Ernesto. Okay, Jesus Ernesto, what time is it? Uh, it's uh, uh, 10 past six. 10 past six, correct, very good. Okay, let's see, Selvis, you are the next one. Let's see, two, 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 two. Uh, okay, what time is it, Selvis? It's ten six. It's ten six. Okay, antes del six necesito una preposition. Será ten past six or ten to six. What do you think? Ten. Cuando quiero decir los minutos que faltan, uso la preposición past o la preposición to. To. Entonces, ¿qué hora es? What time is it? 
Ten to six. <laughs> Ten to six, Elvis. Very good. That's the one. That's the one. Okay, Elizabeth, it's your turn. Let's see, let's see. No, it's muy fácil. Uh, hey. Okay, Elizabeth, what time is it? Quarter past three. Quarter past three. Quarter past three. Nice. You see, guys, si pueden, si pueden. Lily, you are the next one. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Okay, Lily, what time is it? Five to eight. Five to eight. Very good. Okay, super good job, everyone. If you see, you can do it. Um, alguien no le preguntado o ya le pregunté a todos. A mí, a mí falto antes de que. Oops. Okay, very good. Let's see here. Oops, no. Wait, 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 wait. Tan, 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 tan. Uno difícil. Vamos a poner a Douglas. <laughs> what time um, is it? It's time. It's ten. Past nine. Correct. Ten past nine. Very good. Very good. Excellent job, guys. So, ya ven, cuando empezamos la hora, ahí estábamos. I don't understand, teacher. Um, let's see, Veronica, a usted no le pregunté, right? No. Ah, okay, okay. No worries, no worries. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Veronica, what time is it? It's, it's, oh, two, half past six. Hmm, half past six, are you sure? Look at donde está la gordita, look. Two. Okay, otra vez, what time is it? Is that two? Mm. Two. Primero decimos los minutos que han pasado. In this case, ¿cuántos minutos han pasado? La mitad, right? ¿Cómo digo la mitad? Half. Ok. Half. ¿Y después? Half. Half. Pass. Ajá. ¿Y la hora? Two. Correct. <laughs> Very good. Half. <laughs> pass. Two. Okay, Ana, intente otra vez, Ana. Let's see. Uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. Ana, what time is it? It's, it's a quarter to one. Very good. Oh, ya no se le va a olvidar el cuadro. Very good. Okay, everybody, very good job. Ya pueden decir la hora. Excellent. Super, super good job. Preguntas en cuanto a telling the time, everybody? No questions? Yes. Uh -huh. Tell me. Go ahead. Uh, más que todo cuando han pasado... No, faltan para que se cumpla la nueva hora. Mm -hmm. On it's two. Exactly. Remember, everybody, um, en la primera mitad del reloj, usamos la preposition past. past. Después del seis, la segunda mitad, usamos la preposition two. 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 Exactly. Basically, eso es como lo más importante. Right? En la primera mitad, fast. En la segunda mitad, two. That's it. Exactly. Any other questions that you may have? If you remember when we studied the time, we studied some phrases that we can use, right? For example, we can use the phrase at about, Ok, por ejemplo, cuando estamos dando como un aproximado, so we can say at about, or we can say around. 
Si estoy hablando en terceras personas, ¿necesito cambiar el auxiliary? ¿Sí o no? Look. We need to change it. And this is something that we studied in the class. Vamos a ver un pequeño exercise, así rapidito, solo para ver si se acuerdan. Imagine si yo les pregunto. Um, let's see. Everybody, what time? Ta, 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 ta. The city, oops, the city hall open. So, can I say what time do or what time does the city hall open? ¿Por qué está? Porque está hablando third person, de el singular. Ah, third person. Is estamos third person. hablando de un lugar. Exactly. Very good. Imagine if I say, hey everybody, what time? Ta, 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 ta. Your co-workers sleep. <laughs> what would be the uh, answer? What time does or what time do? So, what do. time do? Why? The plural. It's ah, plural. The because plural. it's plural. We say, oops, sorry, do. do. Imagine if I ask you, hmm, let's see, what time, ta, 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 your teacher um, wake up? What time do or what time does? What time does? What time does? Good job. Very good. So, con esta pregunta de what time, la configuración es la misma. Si es terceras personas, usamos does. Si es plural, usamos do. So, the rule is the same. Understood, everybody? Yes. Preguntas? Any question? Or estamos listos para el final exam? No, ready. <laughs> ready or not ready? <laughs> all right, all right. Let's see. Vamos a practicar un poquito esto del time, pero ahora lo vamos a hacer con un listening. Ok. Hoy es día de listening. I need a volunteer for reading the instruction, please. What time does each person get up? Mm, I can't say it. Get up? And go to bed. Listen mm -hmm. and write the times. Thank you. So, pay attention. Aquí tengo different people. Tengo a Sandra, John, Sam, Grace, Mia, and James. So, ellos van a ir hablando de su daily routine. Y ellos van a mencionar cuándo get up y cuándo goes to bed. So you have to pay a lot of attention y traten de escribir la hora. Okay? ¿A qué hora se levanta Sandra? Traten de escuchar and write it down. ¿A qué hora se duerme? Try to listen and write it down. Okay? Escriban las answers in your notebook and then we are going to see if the answers are correct or not. Okay, so remember, this is just a listening practice. Okay, we have to see cómo vamos con ese listening. Hay que practicarlo. So, let me share the audio. So, for this exercise, please, everybody, microphones off. I'm going to play the audio, so I'm going to repeat the audio. So pay attention. Si no escuchan el audio, please let me know. Are you ready? Yes? yes. Pay, okay. Yeah. Very good. Pay attention, please. One. Hey, Sandra. Do you want to go to the movies tonight? Maybe. What time? How about the 9.15 show? Oh, that's too late for me. I usually go to bed at 8.30. So early? 
Yeah, I have to get up at 5 a.m. to study before school. 5 a.m.? Why don't you study at night? I don't like to stay up late. I'm a morning person. 2. You look tired, John. Yeah, well, I'm always tired. Really? What time do you go to bed? Usually around midnight. I like to stay up late, but I have to get up at 6.15 to go to work. 3. Do you want to go running tomorrow morning, Sam? It depends what time. How about 6 o'clock? 6 o'clock? I don't get up until around 9.30. Wow, you get a lot of sleep. Not really. I usually stay up until about 3 in the morning. 4. Are you a morning person or a night person, Grace? Oh, definitely a night person. Really? Yeah, I can't fall asleep before midnight. I usually go to bed around 1 a.m. Huh. Do you sleep late in the morning? Not really. I usually get up at a quarter to eight. Five. Did you watch the 11 o'clock news last night, Mia? No. I was asleep. I usually go to bed around 10. 10 o'clock? That's pretty early, isn't it? Yeah, well, I'd like to stay up later, but I have to get up at 6 a.m. to go to work. 6. Hi, James. What's new? Well, I got a new job a few weeks ago. Really? Congratulations. How do you like it? Well, it's great, except for the hours. I work the night shift. Oh, no. When do you sleep? Well, I go to bed at 8 in the morning. I sleep all day and get up at 4 in the afternoon. Okay. Now, everybody, I'm going to play the audio again. So please pay attention. Here we go. One. Hey, Sandra. Do you want to go to the movies tonight? Maybe. What time? How about the 9.15 show? Oh, that's too late for me. I usually go to bed at 8.30. So early? Yeah. I have to get up at 5 a.m. to study before school. 5 a.m.? Why don't you study at night? I don't like to stay up late. I'm a morning person. 2. You look tired, John. Yeah, well, I'm always tired. Really? What time do you go to bed? Usually around midnight. I like to stay up late, but I have to get up at 6.15 to go to work. 3. Do you want to go running tomorrow morning, Sam? It depends what time. How about 6 o'clock? 6 o'clock? I don't get up until around 9.30. Wow. You get a lot of sleep. Not really. I usually stay up until about 3 in the morning. 4. Are you a morning person or a night person, Grace? Oh, definitely a night person. Really? Yeah, I can't fall asleep before midnight. I usually go to bed around 1 a.m. Huh. Do you sleep late in the morning? Not really. I usually get up at a quarter to eight. Five. Did you watch the 11 o'clock news last night, Mia? No. I was asleep. I usually go to bed around 10. 10 o'clock? That's pretty early, isn't it? Yeah, well, I'd like to stay up later, but I have to get up at 6 a.m. to go to work. Six. Hi, James. What's new? Well, I got a new job a few weeks ago. Really? Congratulations. How do you like it? Well, it's great, except for the hours. I work the night shift. Oh, no. When do you sleep? Well, I go to bed at 8 in the morning. I sleep all day and get up at 4 in the afternoon. Okay. Everybody, do you have the answers? Yes? yes? Yes, everybody? Or do you need to listen to the audio one more time? One more time. One more, one more time. time.
Perfect. I'm going to play the audio one more time. Así que revisen sus answers to see if they are correct or not. Remember everybody, no es necesario entenderlo a completo todas cada palabra, sino palabras claves. Traten de identificar la palabra get up, go to bed, wake up, Go to sleep. Traten de identificar palabras que les den la clave para entender la hora. ¿Ok? La última vez, pay attention one more time. One. Hey, Sandra. Do you want to go to the movies tonight? Maybe. What time? How about the 9.15 show? Oh, that's too late for me. I usually go to bed at 8.30. So early? Yeah, I have to get up at 5 a.m. to study before school. 5 a.m.? Why don't you study at night? I don't like to stay up late. I'm a morning person. Two. You look tired, John. Yeah, well, I'm always tired. Really? What time do you go to bed? Usually around midnight. I like to stay up late, but I have to get up at 6.15 to go to work. Three. Do you want to go running tomorrow morning, Sam? It depends what time. How about six o'clock? Six o'clock? I don't get up until around 9.30. Wow, you get a lot of sleep. Not really. I usually stay up until about three in the morning. Four. Are you a morning person or a night person, Grace? Oh. Definitely a night person. Really? Yeah, I can't fall asleep before midnight. I usually go to bed around 1 a.m. Huh. Do you sleep late in the morning? Not really. I usually get up at a quarter to eight. Five. Did you watch the 11 o'clock news last night, Mia? No. I was asleep. I usually go to bed around 10. 10 o'clock? That's pretty early, isn't it? Yeah, well, I'd like to stay up later, but I have to get up at 6 a.m. to go to work. Six. Hi, James. What's new? Well, I got a new job a few weeks ago. Really? Congratulations. How do you like it? Well, it's great, except for the hours. I work the night shift. Oh, no. When do you sleep? Well, I go to bed at 8 in the morning. I sleep all day and get up at four in the afternoon. All right. So everybody, let's start checking the answers. How about Sandra? What time does Sandra get up? Uh, hi, everybody. Five. I am. Five. 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 I am or a m? A m. A m. Very good. That's the correct one. Excellent. So, what time does Sandra goes to bed? Uh, it's uh, it's a quarter past nine. Quarter past nine. Mm. And the rest of you, do you agree? 8.30. Okay, tenemos quarter past nine or 8.30. Everybody, what do you think? Los demás, ¿qué horas anotaron? Ninguna? Hmm. Okay, the correct answer is 8.30. Okay, a esa hora, she goes to bed. Okay, now let's see number two. John, what time does John get up? Quarter past six. Seven past six. Oh. Can you repeat? It's six. ten to seven. Ten to seven. Hmm. Um, yeah, Quar no. 
six. Half past six. Half past six. Quarter past six. Quarter Quarter past six. six. <laughs> Aquí es saber como quién da más, quién da menos, right? <laughs> ok, por ahí, escuché, por ahí escuché a alguien. Alguien tiene la respuesta correcta. And it's this one. It's 15 a.m. Mm, ok, look. Quarter past six. That's the correct one. Así que revisen su hora. Si la tienen correcta, check. Because it's that the one. And what time does John go to bed? At mid. Mid? Uh -huh. Midnight. Midnight. Yes. ¿A qué horas son las midnight? Well, well, uh -huh. That's the correct one. Very good. Ok, ahorita solo pueden responder las girls. Así que boys, no les ayuden. Girls, what time does Sam get up? Vamos, girls. Si no, el punto va a ser para los boys. <ríe> Ajá, girls. Six o'clock. Ok, ¿alguien más de las girls? Six o'clock. Six o'clock, are you sure? Mm. Ok, boys, do you agree? Six o'clock? Six no. o'clock. Mm. <ríe> ok, ¿alguien más tiene otra idea? Half past nine. Half past nine. Half past nine. Actually, yeah. yes, that's the correct one. Okay, only the girls. Okay, girls. What time does Sam go to bed? Uh -huh. Can you repeat? Ajá, uh -huh. girls. Díganme un número, el que sea que hayan anotado. Tal vez es el correcto, no worries. <ríe> hmm. No. Ok, boys, ayúdenles. What time does Sam go to bed? 3 a.m. 3 a.m. Oh my goodness. Good job. 3 a.m. That's the correct one. Ok, boys. How about Grace? Only the boys. What time does Grace get up? Quarter to eight. A quarter to eight. Everybody, do you agree? 7 a.m. Okay, a quarter to eight or 7 a.m. Actually, the correct answer is... A quarter to eight. Very good. And what time does Grace go to bed? Midnight. 1 a.m. Actually, it's 1 a.m. Oh, ah, my gosh. Okay, boys. Such a beautiful job. Very good. Okay, girls. How about Mia? What time does Mia get up? Only the girls. Ten o'clock. Ten o'clock. Okay, girls, do you agree? Hmm. Veronica, usted tiene la hora del ten o'clock is correct, pero no es la de get up. Ten o'clock, it's here. All right. A esa hora es a la go to bed. So, ¿a qué hora se levanta? Six. Yes, very good, excellent. Okay, boys, how about James? What time does James get up? Uh -huh. 8 a.m. Mm, are you sure? It's not true. <laughs> 4 p.m. Four, okay, four. And what time does he go to bed? 8 a.m. 
Eight. Eight. Very mm, good. Yeah, yeah. Okay, lo tenía like opposite, but so far so good. Okay, everybody, imagine. Ahorita pueden revisar las horas y háganse un chequecito. Si, if the answer is correct, <coughs> check. If the answer is not correct, you can do an X. All right? So, I know that the listening is a little bit difficult, right? But little by little, okay? Poquito a poco vamos a seguir practicando el listening, all right? El listening no es algo que se desarrolla de un día para otro. No, is with the time. Okay, so my recommendation is, si sienten que listening is very difficult, ese es el que más tenemos que practicar, okay? Escuchemos music in English. Si ven videos en, en YouTube, okay, busquen videos in English. Ah, que ven TikTok, okay, but in English, all right? Traten de cambiar todo a English, okay? Very good. Okay, so, ¿ya revisaron sus respuestas? Yes. ¿Pasaron el examen? Una Or mala. Not? Ah, very no. good. Oh, teacher. No, teacher. No. Mm, okay, ¿los demás? Did you pass the exam or not? Repro reprobado. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But listen, everybody. Esto nos sirve como un feedback, ¿ok? La idea es identificar. Si se fijan, para decir la hora en speaking, estamos bien. La dijimos todos, la dijimos bien. But, ¿qué significa? Ya identificamos una de las áreas en las que necesitamos trabajar más. So, en este momento ya vimos. ¿Qué área necesitamos trabajar? Ajá. Todas. Listen. Listen. <laughs> Más que todo el listening, right? That is one of the areas that we need to work on, right? Pero ahí vamos, little by little, right? Now, let's move on. Always talking about the time, right? We studied a little bit the third person let's see okay hold on hold on okay can you see the presentation yes 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 okay this is what i want you to do vamos a practicar what time pero siempre usando third person so i need you to create three questions okay only three questions, but in third person. For example, what time? Look, the auxiliary does. And then, your father. En lugar de your father, podemos cambiarle. Pueden decir your mother. Or pueden decir, for example, eh, your sister. O pueden decir your brother, ¿ok? O pueden decir your best friend, ¿ok? Pueden usar diferentes subjects, pero in third person, ¿ok? What time does your father take a shower? What would be the answer? A ver si se acuerdan cómo respondemos en terceras personas. What time does your father take a shower? Uh -huh. What would be the answer? My father takes a shower. My father takes a shower. At. Correct. Mm -hmm. At. And then you say the time. Yes, yes. Excellent. Very good. Okay, look at the next one. Podemos usar también, if you see, wife or husband. What is the meaning of wife? Esposa. Correct. Husband? Esposo. Correct. So, what time does your wife 
have breakfast? What would be the answer? My husband uh -huh. have, have, have. Puedo usar uh, have con terceras personas? Has. Correct. Has. Has, has a breakfast at 8 o'clock. At 7 o'clock. Okay, at 7 yeah. o'clock. Perfect. Okay, so la idea es write three questions in third person. Pero a la hora de responder, no se les olvide que hay que agregarle la letter S al verbo, porque estamos hablando en third person. ¿Se entiende la activity, everybody? Yes. Ok. Escriban, please, three questions usando third person. Tienen tres, let's see, les voy a dar cuatro minutos, four minutes, para que escriban three questions. Remember, como estamos hablando de terceras personas, Vamos a usar does, ¿ok? What time does, elijan un sujeto en terceras personas y luego un verbo. Go ahead. If you have doubts or questions, please let me know. I will help you. Go ahead. Write three questions. If you have questions, please let me know. I will help you. Si necesitan ayuda con el vocabulary, please tell me. Only three questions. Two more minutes. If you have questions, let me know, please. Remember all the questions in third person. Two more minutes. Are you ready? 
Everybody? Yes, finish? Uh -huh. Do you have the three questions? Uh -huh. Everybody ready? Yes? Yes, ready. Yes, ready? Okay. Yes, I'm ready. Yes, everybody ready? Okay. Now, remember, the idea is, vamos a entrevistar al classmate, but el classmate tiene que responder in third person. So don't forget to add the letter S. Vamos a hacer una pequeña practice. Let's see, Guillermo. Ask one of your questions, please. Number one. Mm -hmm. What time does your father take a breakfast? Very good. Thank you, Guillermo. So what time does your father take breakfast? Everybody, what will be the answer? Volunteer? Uh -huh. My father takes a breakfast at six o'clock. Very good. Excellent. So if you see, we have to say my father takes. We need to add the letter S. So that is what we are going to do in the breaking rooms, okay? So in this moment, everybody, you know, zero Spanish, okay? No Spanish. And everybody, remember, if your classmate says, ah, my father take breakfast, mm -mm, tell them, hey, letter S. Okay, so let's try to help your classmates. Okay, everybody, let's go to practice. Zero Spanish, full English. Let's go. Okay. ¿Cómo haría esa suerte? Look. 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 Lucky. Lucky, dicen allá. Okay. Um, I got my first question. I explain to uh, slow. What time does your brother walk on the hill? Walk on the on the hill. Hill. Uh, Teacher, hill. hill. It's hill. 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 Ah, okay. Hill. 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 Mm -hmm. okay. What time does your brother walk on the on the hill? My brother on the walk hill at the Five past seven. Teacher, what the letter S is in the what? Walk. 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 Exactly. Uh, walk. Okay. okay. Number two. What time, Jesus? What time does does she pick pick the fruit the fruit? What time does she pick the fruit? Uh, she picks the fruit at uh, uh, 10 past 7. 10 past 7. Okay. At, don't, for, don't forget, don't forget the preposition at. At. <laughs> okay. At, okay. At, <laughs> that's the one. Okay. Guillermo, the number three. Okay. What time does your father walk to the ranch? My father walks to the ranch at um 20 past 10. Good. Jesus. 
اوكي جو اه اوكي فيرس وات تايم داز يور مادر كوك كوك دينر ماي مادر ماي مادر Dinner. Cooks. My mother cooks dinner I at 15 past six. Okay. Bell at okay. 11 o'clock. Excellent, Lily. Good job. <laughs> okay. Okay, good job. Uh, what time does your sister take lunch? Take. Sí. Repeat the, the question, please. What time does your sister take lunch? My sister takes a lunch at uh, around... 12 okay. o'clock. <laughs> okay. And um, what time does your best friend go to bed? My husband go, goes, goes to bed at Um, half past 11. Okay. And what time does your sister take dinner? My sister takes in the pizza room. Six. Um. Hi. Repeat, please. It's it two six hold. Okay. Number two. What time does your mother get dress? Dress. Get, get dressed. Get dressed. Siempre se me olvida leer bien. Ajá. What time your mother? Get dressed. Get dressed. Yes. Uh, five. Five hours. No, que ver. High, high, five pass hours. Uh, solo que la respuesta tiene que ser completa. My mother. My mother. My mother uh -huh. is. My yes. mother is five past four. Okay. Okay. Be careful. Five house. Eh, five past house. Remember, primero decimos los minutos que han pasado. En este caso, la palabra house va primero. Y decimos house past five. Ok. Ah. Primero la okay. palabra house. Half past five. Excellent. Yes. That's the one. Very mm -hmm. good. Ok. Selvis. Yes. Está ahí. Oh, yes. Siguiente, yes. Number three. What time does your daughter come here? Uh, repeat. But repeat. What time does your daughter come here? Mm. Daughter, hija, come here, peinar. It's, it's, it's the, it's the quarter, 
five. Uh, my daughter. It's water. My daughter. My daughter. It's quarter. It's the it's the quarter. Five. Uh -huh. My daughter. Time's up. Okay, let's wait for your classmates. Yes, question, teacher. <laughs> uh -huh. I have a question. Go ahead. <clears throat> Eh, cuando es about, lleva la preposición at o no la lleva, o cuando es around, around. Ok, very good question. Vamos a esperar que se conecten todos para poder responder esa question. Ok. All right, let's see, creo que sí estamos todos. Ok, this is a very good question. ¿Qué pasa cuando tenemos um, la phrase about o la phrase around. Necesito la preposition at. Pay attention here. In this case, everybody, we have two options. Pay attention here. If I'm going to use the phrase about, vamos a tener dos opciones. You can use the preposition at or not. For example, I wake up at about Y ahí le agregamos, at about six. Or, podemos decir simplemente, ah, I wake up about six. De las dos formas se puede, at about o solamente about. Ok. Ojo, si no me dicen la palabra about, por ley tiene que ir el at. Ok, si le ponen la palabra about, si sí, ya es optional. At about or about. Now, ¿qué pasa si me utilizan la palabra around? Con la palabra around hay como más libertad. Ahí no es necesario usar la palabra at. Solo decimos, I wake up around six. Is not necessary the preposition at. Understood? ¿Se entiende? Yes. Yes? Excellent. Very good. How was the practice? Easy or difficult? Difficult. <laughs> ¿Qué, sienten <laughs> ¿Qué sienten más difficult? ¿Qué es lo más difícil? Preguntar, entender la pregunta o responder. Ambas, entender y responder, ah, en mi caso. Responder y entender. Mm -hmm. Ah, ok. So, look, seguimos identificando, right? In this case, ya llevamos como un plus de que definitivamente hay que practicar el listening, right? ¿Cómo vamos a practicar el listening? Everybody, ustedes trabajan en el mismo lugar. Ok, tomen ventaja de eso. En el ratito que know. ustedes, <ríe> en el ratito que ustedes vean a su coworker, háganle una pregunta. Imagínense que va pasando Selvis y Selvis ve a Guillermo. Selvis le va a decir, hey Guillermo, what time does your father wake up? <ríe> ok, y Guillermo tiene que responder. Everybody, that's the only way. Hay que practicarlo. Ok, and... A la hora de responder. Practice too. ¿Cómo vamos a mejorar a la hora de responder? Practicándolo. All right? So, little by little. Pero ahí vamos. Ok? Now, something good es que lo están intentando. Lo están haciendo súper bien. Por ahí escuché que me le pronunciaban la letter S en third person. So, Super good job. Now, little details that you have to consider. Spanish. Imagínense que está hablando su clase y le dice, ok, ahora voy yo. Es mi turno. How can I say that in English? Vamos a decir, my turn. So, ya no digamos, ok, voy yo. No, vamos a decir, ok, my turn. Mi turno. Ok, my turn. Turn. What is the pronunciation of this word? 
goes. Goes. No decimos she goes. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Goes. Okay, he wakes up 6 a.m. Is that correct? Yes or no? He wakes up 6 a.m. Ah, no. we need add. to add. Falta add. Add. Very good. Hmm, Spanish. Quiero ver. How can I say that? Let's see. Very good. Let's see. También podemos decir, let me think. Okay, so avoid Spanish. Five past house. What is the correct one? Half past five. Half past five. Remember, we need to say first the minutes and then the hour. Okay? Very good job, everyone. Now, no worries because remember, we will continue practicing these topics. But please try to review at home. Okay? Now, um, oh my gosh. <laughs> Casi no tenemos tiempo. My goodness, everybody, stretch your arms. Let's relax a little bit. Stretch your arms. Wake up, wake up. I'm going to check attendance again. So ¿Cómo, remember. ¿Cómo se dice recreo? Break. Ah, okay. Ah, do you want no, no, break? break no, no, you break hoy. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. I'm sorry. Okay, Yesenia, do you have a question? Teacher, um, ahora tenemos que terminar las tareas de esta semana. Yes. Um, oh. Listen, yo siempre pido, right, que les den un poquito de tiempo los fines de semana, right? Um, <laughs> however, a mí me piden actualizar las notas el día de hoy. Yo voy a actualizar las notas el día de hoy y también voy a tratar de hacerlo el lunes a primera hora para los que trabajaron el fin de semana. Ok, si no logran terminar el día de hoy, por favor, el fin de semana, sí, traten de avanzar para yo poder actualizarlas el lunes a primera hora. All right. Ok, thank you. Very good. Ok, I'm going to check attendance again. If you listen to your name, say present. Ana, Carmina. Present teacher. Thank you. Douglas. Guillermo. Present teacher. Harbin. Present. Jesús Ernesto. Present teacher. Present. Jesús Joannis. Present. All right. Rigoberto. Rogelio. Okay. Um, Selvis. Present teacher. Sonia Elizabeth. Present. All right, Sonia Veronica. Present. Wilson. Xiomara is not here. Lily. Present, sure. Excellent. Okay, everyone, we only have 10 minutes. We practiced the prepositions of time. Do you remember this topic? Yes, a little yeah. bit. Yes. Ah, okay. Exactly. ¿Con quiénes usaba in? Examples. ¿Puedo usar in con days of the week? For example, con Monday. ¿Puedo usar in con Monday? Yes or no? No. 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 Oh, right. Okay. Mes, año. Very good. Let's do something because we only have 10 minutes. I have prepared a game. Okay. And we're going to do it girls versus boys. So I'm going to give you some sentences and you have to tell me what is the correct preposition. In, on, or at. So girls, give me a number. Uh-huh. Girls, give me a number. Number two. 
Number Hello. two. Okay. Fifth April. At in this or on? On. 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 Very good. Okay. Boys, give me a number. One. Okay. Three o'clock. At in or on? At. All right. Oh my gosh. Very good job. Very good job. 12. Okay. Okay. Girls. Is the term for girls? Number Give me three. a number. Three. Okay. Spring. ¿Qué significa spring? Vera, invier, no, eh, primavera. 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 Okay, girls. This is in. In. No, no, sí, in. In. <laughs> ah, veo que han estudiado. Very good. Okay, boys, give me a number. Number 10. 10. 10. Autumn. Okay. Otoño. Otoño, exactly. So? In. In. In, okay. In. Oh my gosh. Excellent job. Okay, girls, give me a number. Six. Six. May. In. 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 Mm. Yeah, that's correct. Very good. Boys, give me a number. Five. Okay. Easter. Okay, Easter is como um, decir Pascua, All right? La Pascua. <laughs> so, what do you think? At on. Easter, on or in? In. 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 All right. Ok, look at this one. Realmente at. en el inglés británico normalmente se utiliza at, pero en inglés usamos in. ¿Por qué? Porque es una season. Ok, así que se las voy a tomar como correct. Very good. Ok, girls, give me a number. Seven. Seven, ok. Ah, easy, January. In. In. Ah, very good. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Está reñido, my goodness. Okay, boys, give me a number. Four. Four, Four. okay. 31st October. On. On. Okay. Very good. Oh my gosh, it's a tie. <laughs> Girls, give me a number. Eight. Eleven. Okay, escuché eight first. Let's try with eight. Christmas. In. In um, Christmas? Um, um. Um. On Christmas. Okay, el juego dice at, pero porque es el mismo ejemplo que el anterior. Pero sabemos que es un día específico, así que sí, decimos on. on. Exactly, that's the correct one. Very good. Okay, boys, give me a number. 15. Which one? 15. 15? Yeah. Or 16? 15. 15, okay. Wednesday. Hmm. On. Oh. On Wednesday, oh my gosh, esto me suena a penales, así como penalties, right? <laughs> okay, girls, it's your turn, give me a number. Uh -huh. Nine. Okay, but hold on, it's, it's for girls. Eleven. Eleven, okay. Sunday. Oh. Okay. Um, um. On. <laughs> okay, boys, give me a number. Nine. 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 
Tuesday. Ah, come on, this is easy. Oh. <laughs> oh. On, okay. Girls? 14. 14? Yes? Yeah. Ooh, bedtime. This is at. At bedtime. At bed. Correct. Remember, un tiempo específico decimos at. Very good job. Okay, boys? 12. 12, all right. Well. Lunch time. At. at. Muy fácil se los puse, right? Too easy, the game. <laughs> Okay, girls, this is the last one for you. 13 or 16? 16. Uh-huh, girls? 13. 13. My birthday. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Um... Oh, oh, my oh, my exactly, it's a specific day. Oh. All right, <laughs> boys, this is the last one for you. See, si Fayang, the girls will win. Summer, in the summer. <laughs> All right, all right. It's a tie. It's a tie. Creo que estaba muy fácil el game, right? <laughs> super good job, super good job. Now, listen, we need to practice always, right? The prepositions at, in, and on. Espero que no se les olvide. Please remember, we need to practice that. Um, I'm going to send a link on WhatsApp's groups. So if you want to practice um, the prepositions. Uh, let's see if you, let me send it in this moment. Let's see. Okay, este es un link donde pueden practicar las prepositions at, in, and on, right? in case that you have a little free time, all right? So if you have free time, try to practice the prepositions. Preguntas, everybody, con respecto al at, in, or on? No questions? No, como la horchata. <laughs> oh my gosh, como la horchata, my goodness. All right. So everybody, unfortunately, we don't have more time. So we are going to stop right here. But please remember to work on the week number three in your homeworks. Try to get good grades. La idea es que lleguen al 100, all right? O mínimo 80%. This is ya la tercera semana, everybody. Si se fijan, hoy se conectaron basically only nine people. So yo sé que algunos tienen problemas con la connection and all those stuff, but be careful with that. La próxima semana tratemos a medida de lo posible de no faltar ni un solo día, all right? Y de conectarnos las dos horas. No solo una hora, no solo 40 minutos, las dos horas, please. Now, como siempre, hay un winner que se queda el día de hoy. Y el winner de este día es ta, 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 Lily. So Lily se queda y los demás. Good night, everybody. And see Good you night, everybody. Good night. 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 Monday. Good night. Oh, yes. Yeah, see Good you night. on Monday. I'm sorry. <laughs> see you on Monday. Okay. Hello, Lily. How are you? Uh, microphone, sorry. Hola, hola. Okay. Lily, así es su nombre, Lily. Ah, very good. I like it. Nunca había escuchado que el, el no, había escuchado como Liliana, but nunca Lily. Me gusta. Very good. Okay. <laughs> ¿Cuál le gusta más, Lily o Yesenia? 
Lily. Ah, ok. Yeah, it's a nice name. Ok, Lily, esta reunión es solamente para aclarar dudas, right? Sabemos que durante la clase es como bien difícil aclarar dudas así uno por uno, así que este momento es solo para usted. Um, ¿Tiene preguntas con respecto a la clase? o un tema que no haya quedado muy claro, o de repente um, dudas sobre el programa? No. ¿Is no. everything clear? Sorry. Ah, very good. Ok, revisemos mm -hmm. su progreso en la plataforma en este momento. Right? Básicamente estoy viendo que las primeras dos semanas, super good job, porque en las dos sacó 10. Excelente, very good. Con respecto a la semana 3, sí estamos pendientes todavía. Como les digo, ahorita voy a actualizar notas, pero yo les he dicho a los encargados, right, que por de, debido a su trabajo, ustedes tratan de avanzar en la plataforma los fines de semana. Es por eso que yo trato de actualizar notas también el lunes a primera hora. Así que tratemos de terminarla, ¿ok? Um, okay. Con respecto al examen. Super good grades. Very good. ¿Cómo mm -hmm. sintió el examen? Easy or difficult? Uh -huh. Ok. La verdad es que super, super good job. Sacó puntuación perfecta. Espero que esa misma nota se saque en el examen final. Así que ánimo, please. Um, veamos con respecto a la asistencia. Eh, de hecho, también va muy bien en la asistencia. Usted no ha faltado ni un solo día. Así que, excellent job. Super good job. Now, ¿cómo están esos ánimos para seguir con el programa? ¿Qué ha pensado? No muy, no mucho. ¿Por qué? ¿Por el horario? ¿Porque siente difícil? ¿O...? Ay, que no quiero quedar mal. No quiero, o sea, me gusta ser responsable y, y no sé qué puede pasar. No quiere como, digamos, a no, mitad no del camino para, quedarse. No Ajá. Ah. All right, all right. Pero sí me gusta. Me, eh, me parece muy interesante. Quiero aprender. Well, so let's continue. Sigamos. I mean, yo sé que es difícil, sobre todo por su horario de trabajo, right? Yo sé que cuesta mucho, yo sé que el sacrificio que ustedes hacen es muy, muy grande, but sigamos. Imagínense ya ahorita, ya casi terminamos el nivel 1, right? Así bien rápido um, y lo ha hecho súper bien. De verdad la felicito porque um, creo que son muy pocos, de hecho, los que no han faltado ni un solo día. Ustedes de las muy pocas personas que no han faltado ni un solo día en el curso. Así que, I mean, eso es súper, súper bien. Con la plataforma, súper responsable. I mean, yo la felicito realmente. Um, practiquemos bastante, practiquemos lo más que podamos. Practiquemos mucho en clase uh, y no tengamos miedo de equivocarnos. Right. Así que, pero lo está haciendo súper, súper bien. A mí en lo personal me gustaría que pudiera continuar. Um, es muy responsable, así que la animo. Ánimo, sigamos. Okay. <ríe> yes. Um, ¿Escucha música en inglés, Lili? No. No. Ah. <ríe> ok, try, try. Intenta escuchar música en inglés para que vayamos mejorando como el listening. Tratemos de cantar música en inglés. Eso nos va a soltar como un poquito la lengua para que podamos pronunciar un poquito mejor. Así que tratemos, trate de escuchar algún cantante. Elija a alguien, ahí un cantante que le guste en inglés para que pueda escucharlas. ¿Alguien más en su familia eh, habla inglés o usted es la primera? Solo yo estoy intentando. <laughs> ah, mm -hmm. ok, all right. So, um, tal vez los demás ven su ejemplo y se animan a seguir también. <laughs> sí. Mm -hmm. All right. De hecho, le, eh, le llama la atención. Ah, super good. You see, tal vez usted le va a enseñar después. Sí, <laughs> ¿Qué siente que es lo que más le cuesta um, durante la clase? Eh, Hablarlo. O entenderlo, o hacer los ejercicios, ¿qué siente que es más difícil? Hablarlo. 
Okay. Sí, um, siento que me, que me hace fácil uh, comprender la estructura de las oraciones, lo que se explica, los temas. Lo que es más difícil es la pronunciación. Ah, all right. Yo que se me hace más difícil. Ajá. Ajá, all right. Yo, ah, yo, yo lo comprendo. Todo lo que usted explica, yo lo comprendo. Very good. Excellent. So you see, siento que eso es súper, súper bueno porque pues a veces entenderlo es lo que más les cuesta a alguno de sus compañeros. Así que vamos por buen camino. Eh, no sé si tiene alguna otra pregunta. O oh, todo está claro. Claro como la chata. Ah, todo está claro. All right. Well, Lily, la animo a que siga así en esta semana que falta. Sigamos así con esa misma responsabilidad para que podamos terminar el curso con una excelente calificación. ¿Ok? Ok. So, Lily, good night and see you on Monday. Goodbye. See you. Okay, good night.